guy is so good. I'm gonna flag him, but this guy is so good. This is crazy how good he is. Play knight e5 here next move and queen e2 and h3. Yeah. Okay, c5. Let's see. I can take on c5. I can take on d5 here. That couple of days is actually not true because I played really well in the pro chess league, um, but it just wasn't enough for the team. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, yeah. no, I mean, I'll, I'll remember that for next time. I'll remember that. I'll go open up chess space and do some hardcore prep. Um, I probably should do prep on that line anyway for Meltwater, so useful. Um, wait a second. Okay, let's take and take and go King H1 and Bishop E3. Take the pawn here. Oh, I'm on the wrong scene. Let's go back here. Let's go King H1, Bishop E3, Bishop E4 next move. Keep it rolling. Yeah. Let's go here. Play Rook takes E4, Bishop E3. Not a wonderful position, but it should be fine. Active Rook, put the Bishop, move the Rook, maybe. Does V5, which he doesn't play, luckily, but not, not ideal. Let's go Bishop F4. Oh, did I just hang a pawn? I guess I have this to guard. Hmm. I'm not liking this Brazilian card. Yeah, it happens. I didn't play well. If you don't play well, you don't win, though. That's that's the moral of the story. Go B4. And I did not play well. I mean, I, I, had, I, had, I had the winning position in the second game, and I still couldn't find it. My instincts just weren't there in that second game. Unfortunate, but it's what it is. You can't win everyone anyway. Like I, I think I won nearly every Arena Kings I played in last last year. So it's bound to happen that once or twice you mess it up. Hey, Joe for the 18. Thank you so much to Joe. Go here. I guess I have C5. Looks bad. Doesn't look right. Did I just give him Rook D4 too? Oh, yeah, yeah. So bad. I'm gonna do something. Something. Oh wait, no. C5. He just moves and takes. I'll just go here and play down a pawn. Although now I gave him rook h4, which also is losing. He doesn't see it though. <clears throat> Moral story: Chess is hard. I mean, chess is always hard. It's never not been hard. But yeah, I'll just go take a look at that line though. I, I definitely will. There's one thing that bugs me online is when people for like when people do prep for tournaments which really aren't that serious that probably is my number one number one pet peeve that, that, that bugs me probably more than anything else go rookie three and take but if people want to do that then i'll just do the same thing back um that actually is not what am i doing again i don't, don't know what i'm doing here uh rook c4 is no good rook c5 I think I can get away with the takes and King H2 and Queen G3, but we'll see. And irony is if Renato had been like he should have, you would have easily beat the 1900 that you would have played. Yeah, but I didn't feel like I was playing great chess either, though, honestly. I, I didn't think I was playing great. I mean, I, I was not playing good chess. So it's kind of hard to really like be like, oh yeah, if I'd done this or that, like, yeah, but meh, whatever. Thank you, Sandy, for the prime. Thank you, Shrewdly, for the prime. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to trade go King G2 here. Keep it rolling right along. Doom, doom. He goes queen d3. This does give me queen f6, maybe? Maybe. Okay, goes there. I guess I'll go here. Guard the... I could have gone to a5, maybe. Okay, let's go here. Rook c5 again. I think I'm going to win this game. Wait a second. I think I go here. Uh, he's starting to make mistakes. I think I can take and take. Go here. Guard both pawns. He's got h4, of course, which I forgot all about. Go here. Hit the pawn. I need to use these outside juicers at some point. How do I do this? I, I don't know how I do it, so I'm just going to move. Takes here, here. Okay, so I go here. Go check. Go here. 
Why did I do that? That was stupid. Let's go here. I have check and takes, I guess. Check. And now we got the win. It's going to be a win, but terrible game. Terrible game. Uh, let's play Rick Sal for the two months. Let's go here in Bishop G7. Play A6 next move. Maybe not. Go C6, D5. All right. This guy plays this line, which I forgot all about. This line is very annoying. Pawn's on h5, and it's just very unpleasant. Hmm. Let's go here in 97 and e6 next. With stonks? Yeah, stonks were up today. Not surprisingly. Very unsurprising. Uh, this is disgusting. What am I doing? This is absolutely disgusting. I mean, the Fed was obviously always going to, like, not, um... They, they weren't they were going to jack up the hikes or anything. I mean, you can't be doing that. We, we, the market has to keep going up. Anything else is just not acceptable. Okay, well, I guess I'll, I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to play Bishop B4 here. And Castle here, play Knight C5. The problem is there's not another Arena Kings that I can play in for like a month. That's why this is also kind of annoying. Because I don't have another Arena Kings to play in until um, probably for like the next three weeks or something. Because there's Meltwater going on. There, there, there's Meltwater, uh, which is happening very, very soon. So I won't be playing at least the next two times, I think, if not more. Um, let's just castle here, I guess. Hit the bishop. Kind of like my position, weirdly enough. Go here, maybe queen a5. I actually really am starting to like my position. Let's go here. Uh, I'm not playing. Um, I'm not playing the U.S. Championships. So I'm playing in Riga instead. Playing the Grand Swiss. Do I also play 1G6 in classical games? No, I do not, because it's not it's not good enough. Um it's, it's not it's not just not good enough. I, there's no other way of putting it. Just 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 isn't. Go C4. I want to go knight C5, maybe knight A4, maybe knight E4, put pressure on the pawn on C3 somehow. Makes a lot of sense. Let's go here. I have knight E4 next move. Oh, he's got this. Still have knight A4 though to hit the pawn. Should be good for me. Go here. He does have bishop g4 though, which is why I probably play this order wrong. Yeah, he sees it obviously, as he should. It's a very obvious looking move. Not hard to spot at all. Oh, this is ridiculous. I guess I go back and play like knight c6 or something. Horrendous. Horrendous. I'm going to go here in knight c7 to guard the pawn. He's probably going to play f4 and then try to go bishop f2 and undermine the pawn. I'm going to go here to overguard the pawn and now I can go back to a4. That's my idea at least. Use the knight on c7 to guard. The so bishop e1. He goes f5. He's trying to crash through, which actually is very dangerous. Like, I might just be losing, unsurprisingly. Takes e6 is horribly dangerous. I play queen c5. Try to take. This looks very bad for me. Okay, takes on e6. Wait, I thought that was a mistake. Can't I just take? Rook f7. I have 96 maybe. Like... Oh, wow. Rook f7 might be winning. No, actually, it's... Eh, it might be. Yeah, he does play it. I didn't even see it as a move. I guess I have 98 maybe, though. Hmm. Wow. I guess I have to do this. I guess I... I can go king g8. Now I have rook g8 maybe in g5. Wait a second. I might have a trick here. Go here. So if he takes, I can play like rook b8 maybe. Go g5. Go here. I want 92. This is my idea. Go here and I can take. I might be able to squeak out here. Squeak out of this. 
I can go there, I guess. Very tricky position. I go here. Can't go rook c8. I can play d. No, I can't go d4 either. Let's see, how do I do this? C3. I don't think that does anything. Go here. Um. Don't I just win here? I win by a tempo. Oof. Tough game. They get four TCL for the Tier 1 Implodian. It's also a sign that I, I mean, clearly I'm not on my game because both these games that I won, I should not have won either of them. They're both very, very bad games. Actually, I also don't know why I just... Um... What is this line? I think he just made a mistake, but it's not a big mistake. Play F. I'm going to try to get very aggressive and win this game in the opening. And play G4. I'm going to try to get very aggressive and win this immediately. This might not be good, but I'm going to try. I can also go G4, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm just going to be as aggressive as I humanly can here. G4, H4, G5, and just go right after him. Maybe I go Queen B3, in fact, hit the pawn. Now let's go here, hit the pawn. Plays queen c7. I mean, I feel like I should have counterplay here. And bishop f4 and c5 makes a lot of sense. I don't know if it's actually good, but it looks looks very good. Looks very attractive. Doesn't mean it's winning or anything. Rook a4 is a move. Knight c1 is also. Um, I can also sack. But I'm gonna go rook a4, b4 ideas. No, but I can't go b4. Wait, so if I go. Where do I go? C1 or G3? I guess I'll go to G3 to take. Knight, maybe? Okay, because C7, and now I can't take the pawn. Brilliant. Brilliantly, brilliantly executed by me. Doom, 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 doom. Brilliantly, brilliantly executed by me. Now, now I'm actually not even better. Five. I'm also thinking too long, so I'm just going to take the pawn and go bishop e5, I guess. b8, b4. Maybe, maybe bishop. Yeah, I'm going to go b4 here. This is not what I wanted at all. I guess I'll just develop my bishop now. Try to play it. Goes h5. That's a little bit of a weird little bit surprising to me. I guess let's just go H3 and take, maybe. My happiness is not a responsibility. Oh, I never said that's your responsibility. Just in a, I'm just in a bad mood. I feel like ever since the ever since the tournament ever ever since the tournament had the um had that uh that general uh malfunction where the site went down i've been pretty pretty pessimistic haven't been in a really good mood since then let's go here maybe night of two i mean the loss doesn't help but i was already i feel like i've been pretty pessimistic ever since then let's go here and then there are also those other idiots who have been in here like donating those with those stupid messages which doesn't help either um now i can take the pawn here of course i don't like this either that's a good move too um I'm not down too much on the clock, but I am down. So I guess I'll just go like here. Although, did I just give him B5? <laughs> I just did, yeah. Yeah, he'll obviously see it. Because I, I mean, not even that, but I also like, I literally spelled it out. Oh, and now B4. Oh, yeah, B4 hangs too. This is horrible. Okay, let's go here. Can I go, like, here in rook a5 or something? 
Yeah, that's that's class move too, rook a8. Should have gone to a5. Just a disaster. Just an absolute disastrous game. Horrible game. I'm going to play two more, then I'm going to stop, I think. Oh, wait. He played h4 and d4, which I didn't expect either. Oh, good for you. Yeah, I'm just in a bad mood. Combination of the, the the event throughout what happened, and then also like that 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 guy was making those stupid donos. Yes, my mood hasn't improved. Play here, maybe knight f6, push b7. I was generally in a pretty bad mood. Um, go here. Here, take with the queen. The fact that I was also winning in that game out of the opening really kind of dis disappointing. Uh, I can play f6 here in 95, I guess. Go here. I'm probably going to gambit a pawn somehow. Castle, I guess. Maybe knight g4 is not a move. I think I'm just going to go a6. I think I'm just going to give up a pawn here. I do a b5, maybe. Does it work? I think I should play it, even if it doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, that's what it is. Doesn't always go your way, but yeah, not not in a great mood. Now I do. Have, I thought I was just gonna play like Queen B6 or something, which probably doesn't even do anything, because probably you can also. I guess A4. I should be. I guess I could just play like Rook D8 or something. But I think I think my sack is speculative at best here. Yeah, I missed Queen F4 of course, and now after Queen F4, I think I just re resign basically. I guess I can go here and take and pray that I'm not. No, I. I think I had to go... if I go to D7, am I? I guess if I go to D7, I'm still losing. But yeah, I'm just not. I'm not feeling it at all today. Yeah, I mean, I th I threw an AK, of course. Oh, he misses it. I mean, Bishop E8 was just game over. He misses it, but he's still winning. That's how bad my position is. Um, <sighs> let's go here. I'm gonna take and go ninety five and pray. I mean, maybe I'm not completely lost now. At least there might be some trick. No, I think I am just lost. I completely forgot the queen f4 was a move. Yeah, and he sees it unsurprisingly. Of course, he should just spot it instantly. Let's go here. Yeah, and he spots this one too. Only question is, do I have some trick here? Like, let's go here. I'm gonna sack my rook maybe and pray for some miracle. It's not even gonna happen. Yeah, I'm just playing terrible chess. Playing awfully. Last game, you guys, last game, and then I'm done. I think I'm stopping the stream, actually. I'm just really not in the mood. Go here. Go see. Let's just take okay. He's playing this stupid line. This, by the way, is not good. Speaking of prep and lines, let's go a3 and knight f3. Oh, I played the wrong order. I was supposed to play d3 first. I'm supposed to play d3 first now. Go here and bishop b3 like this, I guess. Isn't what I wanted at all. Don't mind the haters. It's not really about the haters. I'm just, I don't know. I've been in a bad mood. Like I said, ever since the ever since the arena got canceled, ever since like that whole thing happened, I just haven't really been in it. Um. I need a white blast for the tier one. Let's go here. Take with a pawn, I guess. That just sort of set me off. What happened? I mean, it's just not been a not been a fun stream. And take e even Arena Kings itself once it resumed was not not exactly fun either. Like that was also pretty hard just qualifying. Let's go here. Knight f three. Bishop h six. It's pretty logical. I think I'm gonna go here. Knight g two maybe. And castles. Maybe I have h. Maybe I had h four h five there even. An interesting idea that I had. Cheer up tomorrow's new day. Yeah, I mean, of course, obviously. But it's the last real chance I had to like play play well in one of these events until I'm gonna go h4. I don't know if it's right, but I'm gonna do it. Go here. I'm gonna go h5 next move, and I don't know if this works, but we'll see what happens.
Uh, I'll, Henry Tang said in a podcast that you Magnus saw the rest of the top three bullet players. We said you don't play anymore, probably because you're tired of it or you're done with bullet. I just don't really enjoy bullet. I mean, that's it's more that I don't enjoy it than anything else. Um, I'm gonna go G4 here. It's not that I'm tired of it. I just don't enjoy it. Like what? What? Like I played Dan. I think I said this. I mean, of course, everyone's heard this 50 times by now. But I played Dania recently. Um, that's a mistake, by the way. I think I go here in Bishop D3 and I end the game. Um. But I said, like, I played Daniel recently in Bullet, and I just, I didn't enjoy it. It wasn't fun. Um, and if it's not fun, then, like, what's the, you know, what's the point of playing? Yeah, I mean, this this has to be losing. Let's not mess this up, though. I'm going to go here. If Knight A5, I go, I mean, this has, this has to be just losing for Black. This is, this actually just looks horrible. Let's go here and not, I mean, isn't this just winning work B1? Yeah, that's a free piece. Okay, let's go one more. And with a good game. I think I'll play Eve. Uh, I'll play a Sicilian here. Also, it's not good for interacting with chat either. There is that too. Yeah, trying to interact with chat is not not good either. Yeah. So there's there there is that too. He wants to play G3. I'm gonna play B5, E5. Go here. Okay, let's just go here. Knight PD7. I do I can play B4, but I think knight d7 is better. Go here, bishop a6, of course, just bishop e7, castles. I feel like against this guy, I've never actually played the uh played the knight or so it's gonna kind of interesting to see what he plays against it. Gonna castle, maybe f5, maybe just queen c7. Maybe knight b6 even as a move. D2, that's a strange move. I guess he really wants to go C3. I don't know if I'm supposed to be concerned or not by that. I mean, he wasted a tempo just to get this. Uh, I, I don't think I am. I'm just going to castle. Go here. Queen B6, Bishop F6. I mean, I just don't believe it. it goes there. Interesting. Again, I feel like I'm about to blunder somehow. Check. Hit the knight. Keep an eye on this knight. I'm gonna go here. This probably is a mistake, but we'll see. If D6, I can just take. If I get the bishop to blockade the pawn, I should be good. I'm gonna pre-move it in case he does it. How do I predict C3? Because it was it was the thematic move after he wasted tempo with the bishop to open up the diagonal. It was just very thematic. Okay, knight D2. I can play E4 here. Bishop A6 looks. Completely fine to hit the rook of d6. I'm just going to chuck the exchange and take. So I can play e4 again here. I think e4 actually here is probably quite good. Oh, and now he has bishop f1, maybe, and I. Ugh, still unclear. Maybe I have knight f6, knight g4, too. Sacks. Okay, I didn't think this did anything though. Got yeah, Bishop D6, I think. Oh, then Rook E6. Hmm. I'm sure that this wasn't good. I was sure this wasn't working for him, so I just need to think. Oh, let's just go here and Queen A7. I think is the move. Or Queen Queen F2 actually isn't bad either. Queen C5 is uh, not right. Let's go here. Because now on d6, I'm going to have bishop b7, and I should be fine. This looks winning for me. Thank you, Mr. Poop Towel, for the 22 months. Thank you so much, Mr. Poop Towel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Trade, go bishop b7. Okay, I trade the bishops. And bishop d5... First of all, I can take, I guess. I don't really want to trade there. If I take rook g6, king h8, that's winning. If takes rook e8, king h8, that's winning. Rook e7, king h8. I mean, that looks winning. Wait a second. Bc3. I'm going to go here. Takes, I can take with the rook and then takes. Okay, he goes queen b. This allows knight c. Oh no, then he has rook f6 and he has a beautiful checkmate. 
I guess rook a b8 is a move that makes sense here. Let's go here. I could have traded. Uh, I should have just traded everything down. Why didn't I just trade everything down and go queen up two? That was so stupid of me. That would have been winning on the spot. Now it's winning, but it's not. Not a happy. It's still winning probably, but it's not going to be trivial. And now, yes, now he lets me take. Yes, now I do. I definitely take, and I go like rook here and like queen f2, and I just made him. I think. And let's just go here. He has to go queen d4, and I mean this has to be winning. Okay, rook f2 is an option, not the best. Let's just go here. Can't move the rook. I mean, he can go d5, I guess, but I just go like king g8, rook f7. Eventually, I win the game. Hit the win. Wait, why did I start another game? I was going to stop. I was going to stop. Why did I just start another game? That was good, too. I got two quick wins, too. All right, so I go a3. I play like bishop e3. Because I love you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Also play h3 and knight knight okay now i just develop i, I want to stop bishop g4 just develop i guess a castle plays g5 interesting i'm gonna go knight d2 and maybe knight b3 and i blundered this of course and i thought i had d5 here and something but i don't so i'm just playing bad moves now for no reason I can play d4 here, maybe. And take. I could have traded and gone d4 too. That would have made more sense. I mean, if I get knight d5. Oh, it's just got. Yeah. This doesn't even work. See, so it's check and queen b5, and I lose pawn. Uh, I guess I'll castle here. Go. Knight e2, maybe queen d2 is a move. I'm going to go here and knight c5. Try to create some trick. Sure, it doesn't work, but it's worth a shot. I'll go here. If I can get B4 and some kind of launch on the queen side, maybe I have a prayer. Maybe a prayer. Probably not, but maybe. I also probably should have put the king on H2. Go here, rook C3, B3 is an idea. B4, B5 is an idea. Trying to confuse matters. It's Bishop e4. Trying to give back the material. Actually starting to look better and better for me by the move. It's starting to look surprisingly good for me. Okay, so now I can just take and I mean I'm not like winning or anything but i'm also definitely not losing and now it's kind of decent with queen f3 queen d2 rook d1 have some serious play let's go here hit the pawn yeah now this is not clear at all now, now this is definitely very tricky okay, do i go rook d1 as a question i think i do because now i can take and go like queen f7 even this is looking very uh oh he's got queen c7 which i just forgot all about F, I guess I'll go to F3. Want Rook B3 or B4 or something here. I'm trying to come with some tricks. F5, that's a weird move I'll take. I can always go G4. So he goes, Bishop takes B2. I have Rook D7, I guess. Looks very dangerous. Why don't I just have Bishop E4 to win the game here? I don't understand. Yeah, I'm going to win the game here. another night or if i got a good position last game go here in a6 play the same line go here he'll probably play a4 okay we... yeah, he's gonna go bishop d2 this time i still don't actually believe this is supposed to be great for white they can go here get the knight 
And you can go king h1 and f4 again. 92. Okay, he goes rook a3. So he's actually starting. He's he's starting to understand the concepts. Castle. And yeah, he goes queen d2, but I can always go bishop d8 here to hold. Maybe I have knight c5 at some point too. Okay, king h1 logical. I can play f5. Knight f6 actually looks like the correct move though to put pressure on the central pawn. Feels like it makes the most sense objectively. It goes rookie one, logical move. Um, rookie eight makes sense. Uh, there's also knight g. Wait, there's also knight g four maybe. Okay, let's go here and hit the pawn. Oh, he's just got wait king g one. I have bishop g five or something. It's getting a little bit scary for white, I think. Actually, I don't have bishop g five. Rook f one. I have bishop a six. Rookie two, I also have bishop a6. A5 is tender, but you're not worried. No, these tendies are good. Are we gonna watch playoffs? Nah, I'm not, 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 not really in the mood for it today. Sorry. Um. Oh wait, sorry. But playoffs, you mean peace? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant. I thought you meant AK. You mean uh, peace? No, I'm not actually feeling like wonderful or anything. Still in a fairly annoyed mood. Uh, he does play a that. It's actually a very interesting choice um i don't have a good reply taking h2 that's a very good move by him i think i think i'm not sure okay let's let's go here because i have bishop b6 maybe i'm trying something i don't know if this works not <laughs> feeling wonderful funny very funny you guys very funny he goes rook f1, so I go here to guard the knight. I mean, he's looking... Yeah, he wants to do this line. I have bishop e3. I also have bishop... No, I don't have bishop a6. I'm crazy. If I take, take, he gets b4. Yeah. A little bit ugly. I do have bishop e3, maybe. If I take, take, do I have any tricks? No, I don't have knight a3. I've got no tricks, so I'm basically just in trouble here. Let's take... Oh, he goes B4 for oh, he just is B4 first. Oh, I just threw this too. Okay, let's go here. Go here. Target the pawn. Let's go here and rook b8, maybe. I need to use my e pawn. This is the only way that I'm gonna draw this game. Let's go bishop f1. If I take, I go here. Uh, I think I was supposed to put the other rook there. I put the wrong rook there. Now he has rook c1 or something. There's a mate. Good. Maybe I go f5? Huh. There's rook b1. I mean, I have to go here, obviously. Only move. Yeah, I guess I go f5. I mean... Go here, I guess. Try to run my king in. I don't feel like he's actually playing this very well somehow. This doesn't look right. In fact, the more I look at this line, the more I'm... I'm actually kind of unconvinced by what he's doing. Although, wait, his king's getting to b5. Why did I take that pawn? That was so stupid. Oh, that was really stupid of me. That was really stupid. Yeah, actually, I did just throw. As usual. Um, Go here. I mean, I have, still have a check, I guess, or a check here. I have tricks, I guess, but not real tricks per se if i check him here he goes to b4 so i guess i check him here i'm not sure actually wait check and he gets he gets his king to the corner and i just lose the game i guess There's nothing I could do. Oh, I had rook a8, maybe? Maybe I had rook a8 there. Yeah, I just lost the game. <sighs> Frustrating day. What can I say? Yeah, this just loses. He even doesn't play the right, the, the most accurate line, but it's still, it's still just too much. Yeah, just not meant to be. Put a 30 second delay on for tournaments, maybe. Last two, last two. 
I mean, I can put 30 second delay on, but I, I don't really know if that's necessary. I mean, I'd rather not. I'd rather believe the chess players won't do that. Um, also, that didn't have any impact in how I did today. But I don't know why that would matter. Yeah, last two games, and I'm, then I'm done, you guys. Just not meant to be today. Playing very bad chess. I'll get the rating back to 32, but not meant to be today. Just bad day. Go here, Bishop D3, I guess. I also have H3, maybe. This guy also, I don't know why he's listed as an NM when he's not. He's an IM. Uh, I don't know why they haven't made him change the title yet. Let's go Queen E1 and take. Very weird that they have that he actually is still playing as an NM. Because he's not an NM. He's an IM. Take. Well, I watched me versus Lexum. Play until lost. Nah, I mean, I'm stopping after. I'm, I'm really not feeling it today. I haven't been feeling it for most of the day. I tried to make it look good in AK, but it's just not meant to be. Um. Yeah. Fide says he has no title. No, he's an IM. I mean, I, when I played him the other day, everybody was like, everybody was saying he's an FM. Or not an FM, sorry, an IM, my mistake. That's that's what everyone was saying. Maybe that's wrong. Let's go here. Maybe Rook F3, Rook H3. Yeah, I mean, this guy is not an NM, though. It's, it's absurd that he's listed as an NM. Because he, I mean, he's not an NM. I mean, nothing about his play resembles that of an NM. Okay, let's see i can play rook h3 i guess let's go here he still is knight. he might have some trick but i i don't really care if he has some trick with rook e5 e4 that actually strikes me as particularly odd that strikes me as a very odd move just opening up the diagonal potentially i mean I, as soon as i say he doesn't play like an nm he starts play, he plays an nm move i guess go here and rookie one maybe although it's not it's not actually that big of a stake or anything it just doesn't look right Okay, now I'm uh, not takes so Let's go here. But I gave him 93, which is the whole point of what he did. Go here. Um. <sighs> so I can trade. I mean, I assume I go here to hit the queen. I mean, I can obviously take but i don't want to take i've got to go for something quick here how do i get an attack is the question not rook you want um no not rook you want i just gotta focus of course I, i'm not even finding a way to focus let's go here and take the pawn i guess there okay i mean i've got to do something with f5 at some point i just have to break through just have no choice go here trying to speed it up um i mean does that win for him or something he's got queen g8 uh i don't want to play i mean i have to make a move takes 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 queen g8 queen g8 and i lose okay i can't do f5 can't so play h3 it's a bad move but i have nothing else to do just gonna play a waiting move And now is f5 bad whatever let's just go for it i mean i have e6 okay i guess i just take with the rook i must take with the rook i have rook h5 that's that's my that's my golden egg rook h5 and either it's gonna work or it's not gonna work He doesn't have queen g8 that's the important thing. there's no queen g8 here russian nm isn't a thing yeah i mean he's not an nm i mean wait but that's a mistake isn't it don't i just go here ah uh, wait how do i do this then e6 e2 takes check check i'm gonna try this might also be bad take though i guess got a4 and no way to win go here i guess let's go here i guess i'm threatening check
guy is so good. I'm gonna flag him, but this guy is so good. This is crazy how good he is. Oh wait, he, he didn't. Oh, he didn't do the move. I thought he did. This guy is crazy good. There's no way he's an NM. He's so good. It's absurd. It's actually absurd. There's no way he's an NM. Um. Yeah, even there, he found a... I mean, that was a ridiculous save by him that he found. He's 25... Yeah, but I'm saying... I'm just saying he's not an NM. I don't know why it says NM. Because, I mean, he's does not play like an NM. He plays like I am at the... At the... I mean, being generous, I think. I think he's more like GM strength. I really do. He's not... He's not an IM. Plays H4. I think Bishop G4 is supposed to be a reasonable move here. I know I'm not... Am I not supposed to take... I guess I, I can just play G6 or something. And Knight BD7, Bishop E7. But Rook takes E7, Rook takes G5. I don't, I don't know what you're referring to, but I probably missed something. I, I don't pretend that I did. Is he Ben Feingold level? No, I mean, he's stronger than Ben. And stronger by, like, a significant margin at that. Like, this guy is strong. This guy is strong. Please end the stream. Uh, I'm winning the match. What are you talking about, dude? Just gonna be one of those days where you have a bunch of a bunch of idiots in chat acting like total douchebags. Which is actually why I'm gonna end the stream very shortly, because I don't have to put up with that. Go bishop d6 here, hit the knight. Um, and then I can just move my knight or I can just castle. Um and also castle long as well, but knight e4 looks like a good move here. It's the bishop, maybe bishop e7, target the pawn. Yeah. No, I mean I'm not I'm not feeling it anyway, but like today's been one of these streams where there've been a lot a lot of assholes in chat, and I don't really know why um go here oh queen b6 was maybe slightly better there have been a lot of assholes in chat today it's not it's not even limited to a few people ban them yeah actually you're right i should ban that guy you're right just for that comment i should ban him where where did he write that stupid comment um because you give them attention normally i don't but i, I mean you're asking me to not read chat then I mean that's reading chat and interacting with chat is an integral part of twitch like that's just how it goes um but yeah i can just take or take with this knight yeah you don't have to read the negative though yeah but you read whatever pops up and i think uh, on devin nash's video that he did on mental health recently he made a good point which is that generally it's true like you, you you'll there's a psychological thing where it's like you see um there might be a hundred positive comments and one negative one but then one negative one is the one that sticks with you and he said there's some there's some i don't know what it, psychological whatever you want to call it but he did mention that and i think he's actually right on that okay i can play c4 i don't like it i can also take i'm gonna go 95 here okay i like c4 knight f6 here i guess reasonable it's not great but it's it's reasonable Okay, it's gonna go knight of four. Hmm, this is headed. This is trending towards something that's not, not enthused by. I guess I'll take with a. I'm gonna go here and take with a pawn and go rookie eight. He car one more game one hour later. Okay, one more game. Yeah, uh, let's go here and bishop d8. Go bishop d8. I can go rook g8 here as well. Probably should be a draw with correct play. Very little. Very little going on. It's called negative negativity bias okay yeah i just know there's something that they said it's like yeah basically it's like if you see um okay, let's go here i guess and take and go b6 yeah it's like you you might see there might be 100 positive but that one negative is the one that sticks out to you that's true you should do more sub match versus levy yeah but i mean levy doesn't really stream anymore so it's kind of hard to do that <laughs> go here and f6 i guess at b6 too um should be okay i don't love the position but it should be okay i mean i have rookie six and i mean i have f6 here i also wait i also have queen c3 queen f4 f6 i'm gonna maybe i'm gonna lose but i'm gonna go for it let's see he goes queen e2 um let's go here i guess very hard to play with no time on the clock so um shoot I've got I've got no time I just too hard to play 
just too hard to play this position with no time on the clock. But he does allow bishop d4, which he shouldn't have allowed. He finds that move, which is amazing. Go here, I go rookie seven. I don't know like gotta move I gotta move what am I doing that's a terrible move too oh uh, should have got no time surely I'm losing here somehow oh where's the oh the Queen's there oh, it's I've got no time. Oh, he went Queen G2. Oh my God, he went, he went Queen G2. Huh. Oh my god, oh my god. Ugh. Oh, that's frustrating. I should have won that game. At the end, I should have won that. Oh man, the story of today, the same thing happened to Minlay. End of the game, same thing. Completely winning and then and completely winning, but I like I used too much time to get to that point. Story of the day. Oh, that's annoying. Story of the day. Story of the day. Go here, knight c3, just develop. There should be two castles, keep it simple. Oh, oh he's not an NM. We've, we've already been over that, you guys. He's not an NM. Let's go knight e4. Um, g8, okay, let's think. Do I have a move against this? This is ridiculous. It doesn't look like I have a good move here. I'm gonna go for this. I don't know if this works. Maybe I'm gonna. Oh wait, can I Let's go with this one? Cause I can take and check. No, this is no good. He has queen f six. Yeah, I forgot about this one. Okay, you can also take. maybe you can also take yeah you can also take this one wait but i have bishop f1 no he just blundered hey now he just blundered back uh now do i take or not as a question my instinct says i actually i get away with bishop f6 as a question bishop f6 bishop g2 queen g4 I'm gonna go for it maybe it's no good but I've, I've got to go for it let's go here takes king e2 takes rook check check and mate oh he's got 97 though at the end of course of course or i gave him 94 too oh my gosh why did i do that he misses it um i think i have to i basically have to make a draw here oof or do i wait or do i wait no maybe i don't so i have check I can also wait let's do the tickle tickle still a draw hilarious I go here I'm gonna try to win this because I think I can draw this no matter what why did I even do that this go here I mean, I have a four lurking. I guess it's still a draw. Just there, b three, a five. I guess. Hmm. 
I'm gonna run my F pawn up the board here. Of course, I gave him this, which was stupid. So, here, I think I just have to make a draw. I don't think I have a choice. I mean, I can take, I can also check. As long as there's a safety valve, I'm willing to go for this. As long as I think I can still draw, I'm willing to play this. I mean, I have ugly, 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 ugly pawns. But I do have pass pawn. Okay, let's go check. F7, maybe? Here. I mean, this is very weird. As long as I know I can always draw, I'm willing to play this. As long as I have a, as long as I have a repetition in my back pocket, I can play this line. That's basically my rationale for how I'm playing this. One pawn with queen versus bad king, two rooks and a bishop. Yeah, a queen is worth more than two rooks and a bishop. Absolutely. This is very weird. I think I think this works though. I think I go check and queen e7. Like check. Oh, he resigns. Okay, he could have gone king a6 and made me show queen e7. Fair enough. Go here. Weird game. All right, he does this too. I knew there was a reason I wasn't playing e5. Okay, let's go here. Weird game. Uh, is d5 a move here? I'm trying to remember. I think d5 is a move. Thank you to Yumi Hey for the prime. Thank you to Sandra for it. Thank you to Casey F. Thank you to C Turtle Cake for the prime as well. I feel like he's slipping a little, which is also why I want to keep going. Yeah. Oh, wait. Whatever. Let's just go for it. I guess C5, I guess. Bishop H6, I guess. I can always trade and go like Bishop E6, maybe. I don't really know what's going on here. I'm going to try this. If Bishop B5, C6 is fine. If Queen G7, I can just go Rook G8. If I get my Queen and I get castled long, I'm probably completely fine. It goes King B1, logical move. Um, I have Queen D6 here, maybe. Now let's go here because I have Queen B6. I think Knight A4 and Queen G5 was actually winning for White, but he missed it. I'm doing okay. Not great, but not terrible. Um, okay, now, do I castle or do I play Rook B8 is another tough question. I'm already playing, doing terribly, so I'm going to go Rook B8, even though I'm pretty confident it's not the right move. Pretty confident this is not the way that I should be playing the game, but I have some trick with c4, c3, maybe. d4, queen g7. Um, I want to go c4 here, not knight g8. Oh, uh, queen b6, b3 is nothing. b4, knight six, c3. b4, b2, king, c1. I go c4 I, I don't think i can lose well maybe i can lose that c3 now i'm just gonna go here wasted all that time just to play a simple move not good i'll go and play g no no okay let's, let's just let's, let's just move i just gotta move move faster i'm gonna take and i'm gonna take and Maybe I had knight before there too. I don't know. I guess queen d2. Let's go back. I have knight before tricks. Go here. And I can't castle either, which really doesn't help matters. Course. Let's go king e7. It was rook h7, which is completely good. Go here.
Uh, this is so bad, it's not even funny. Um, let's go here. Oh, just say three, two. Okay, place F5, which actually I think is a, not, a mis not a big mistake, but I think not the right move. Go here. G7, Rook G8. If he takes, I can take. Still bad for me, but maybe I have D3 too. There, just take the pawn. Okay, that's a good move that I did not see. Let's go here. I feel like I'm about to lose again. Let's go here in F6, maybe. Okay, I'm close to being okay, but I'm not okay. I think I'm okay, maybe. No, I'm not okay. Um, this is too difficult here. Uh, oh, he played that too. I didn't expect that. Played the other move. Yeah, it's not meant to be. I think I go get goosed out. I'm, I'm definitely stopping because I'm just bleeding rating points now for no reason against this guy. Terrible games. Yeah, just bleeding a bunch of rating points for no reason here. So here, play H3. My target is... I'm going to try to get back to 3150 and then stop. So, okay, uh, let's go here. Bishop's E2 and castles. Again, I don't really believe in this H5, G5. I don't really understand the point. I'm going to stop it with Queen D2. Let's just go here. I mean, I can castle along if I want. I don't think it's right, though. Just don't believe it. I'm going to go rook c1 here. Castle now. Just go back to VD yesterday. No, no, that's completely different. Completely different. Um, No, that was just pro chess league. I'm just not playing well today. I, it hasn't been meant to be. Um, I guess I sidestep. 94 here maybe is a pretty reasonable move. I can also just take. Let's go here. Maybe some jump king. Nah, not in the mood for it. Road 96 was fun earlier. I did enjoy Road 96. I will say that. Um, but yeah. Just take. It goes G4. Okay, so this, this should be just much better for me if I play this correctly. I just take back with the knight. And I have g3 always, so this should just be fine for me. It's more a matter of finding the right move here. I don't like e5. I don't like f4 either. Oh no, f4 is terrible. What am I what am I doing? Um this is a bad move. Let's see. Okay, maybe just just go b4. Yeah, except I gave him rook d8. I didn't see that was a move. Uh, so let's take. I guess he takes, and I can take. I can play f4 if I want. I don't really like it so much. So I think I'm just going to go like queen c2, maybe. King is very safe. This is a problem. I think I'm just going to try to open up the position now with d6. I'm like queen e4, I guess, and like queen d5. Put something on this light square diagonal at least. I can take. I. Uh, I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to do it. Feels dangerous. There's no actual mate. Feels like there's no actual mate. Now I can get the diagonal going. Let's go here. If I can get the diagonal going, I also maybe could have taken, would have been very computerish. If I can keep the diagonal going, I have chances. Here he does. It was an IC6 logical. Let's go here. Could have taken the pawn first, I suppose. Go here. Okay, now his knight's on the rim. So now I feel a lot better. 
about the position. I also maybe could have just taken the pawn and gone f4, but kind of hard to play. Again, I can still take the pawn. I think uh, it's hard to do. Uh, it's re uh, it's really, mm, really hard to do this, but I'm going to do it. Really hard to do this move. I don't know if it's a good move or not. Really hard. Okay, so he trades. I trade. Yeah, he goes rook h8, but he still has no mate. Bishop f3, rook h3, g h3, queen h6. That's an amazing resource that he has. Okay, so, yeah, I guess I'll... I'm gonna go g4. This looks kind of insane as a move. But let's just go, I guess, rook f1 idea, f4. His knight is still trapped on the edge of the board. The fact that the knight is trapped is the reason that I can play this kind of extravagant attack. Go f4, right? I definitely can play it, but I don't want to, so I'm just gonna go here. Maybe queen e4 was better. Let's go here and f4 now. Queen d2, that's probably a good move. Very good move, actually. Let's go here. But I have a pass pawn, actually. This pawn is important. Go here, I guess. No pawn. I think I can start pushing, but I think rook d1 is the right move to go rook d3. Go here. There. Go here, cut the knight off, no jumps. Just take, there we go, much better. All right, better win. These games seem more complicated than usual because I'm trying to play more complicated openings. Let's play this one, okay, let's go with this, knight d5, I guess. And g6, f6. Still a good move, I believe. D5. Seems like a move, isn't it? Maybe I'm crazy. It's actually very unclear, though, because he's knight c3. And I can take, but it's probably. Is this probably. I mean, it's kind of scary to call his bluff and go for this. So I'm, I'm actually not going to. I'm just going to take and just castles. Kind of wimp out a little bit here and go king g7 e6 and just play it's not thrilling but it's not not the end of the world either go here i can play like e6 and b6 let's go b6 bishop b7 relatively okay why is it scary to take because after queen e1 he's getting a knight d5 and his whole diagonal opens up it just feels kind of scary maybe it's not scary i i don't really know just h4 he wants h5 logical ideas h6 he has h5 so i don't really have a good response i can play knight a5 here i guess wait that hangs on kind of i mean it's probably just it's gonna be a draw he's got too many double pawns if he takes <laughs> um yeah okay goes for it okay i mean he's, he's got a bunch of bad pawns but i don't actually know if i can do anything here i mean what's he okay i mean i don't think he could possibly be winning with all these double pawns there's no way this end game is winning if he trades all the rooks just not possible it's not possible play a five here even I mean, I just don't believe in this somehow. I mean, this is just too many double pawns. I mean, this can't possibly be winning for white. So let's just go. I'm going to go here first and rook d8. Do it like this. Okay, I guess I'll go here and rook d2. Okay, let's see. Rook d2 makes a lot of sense. Trade. Let's go. I can play a5. Oh man, how do I win this? I guess I go here. I've checked. This is 
very weird. Let's see. I'm gonna go here in rook a6. I don't really know what's going on. I mean, I assume this has to be winning though. I mean, this must be winning, surely. Can't I just outweigh him somehow? Go here. Must be winning. He just has no pawns. I mean, yeah, this is just winning. Hey, signal V. Thank you so much. Okay, two more to go. Let's go two more. Yeah, I'm gonna do something different. It's gonna play something super slow. Change it up completely. Just t change it up completely. Um, let's just go here and cast, I guess. Go B4, maybe. Okay, I'll play A4, of course. Yeah, that was not a good pawn structure. I mean, that kind of goes without saying. Go here, maybe Knight B3, maybe Bishop G5. Okay, goes Knight H5. I think I'd still just go Knight B3. Knight F4, I can just take and play like E5. I think I have Bishop G5 here. Queen E8. Looks wrong. This looks quite wrong, in fact. I mean, this looks very wrong. I just have to find the right idea. I just go here and rook D1. Go here. He has knight F4, but I can take and go E5, and I think I'm happy with that one. He does it anyway. Takes e5, bishop e6. I don't really believe him somehow. I'm going to go for it. don't really believe him in this position somehow. I feel like queen e4 and bishop d3 should be strong. I'm go bishop d3 again in one move as well. Thank you, signal v again for the get this up. Thank you so much, signal v. Appreciate it. Um, I can play knight d2 to reroute my knight. I think this is the correct move. Just reroute the knight. Queen e4 maybe. Seems reasonable at any rate. Go actually Queen E4 touches the pawn, so let's go Queen E4 here. Yes, it takes, otherwise I get Bishop D3. And then I, I think I take with the knight. Thank you to MB Wispy for the prime. Thank you so much to MB Wispy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Dude, what are the moves? I think he has to trade. If he doesn't trade, I don't know what his idea is, really. Let's see what he does. Okay, because I have queen f4. And okay, now I have also have knight g5, which looks very strong. Yeah, this should just be winning. g6, queen f4. I mean, this looks very bad. Knight e4 coming. Queen h4. E6 was also maybe strong too. E6 maybe was just winning in fact. Maybe I should have played E6. Maybe I should have played E6. Yes, you guys, I'm contractually obligated to run ads. I'm sorry. <sighs> he resigns. Okay, let's go. That's it's what it is. I'm contractually obligated. What do you guys want? Um, okay, let's go back to Sicilian. I feel like I've gotten good positions. Go here. He's an enemy officially, yeah. I don't know why, but I guess in Russia you don't need to. Um, you just skip over the titles, right? Just skip right over, uh, skip right over everything. <laughs> yeah. Is some kind of pled problem? I'm too sub to know about. Yeah. If you're not, if you're not subscribed, you guys, you will occasionally get ads because I have to run ads. Okay. So what do, what do I want to do here? As a question, I'm just gonna do this again. Go here. This all looks right. This all looks right. I go bishop d8. And now I just need to remember not to play knight g4. That's what I need to remember. Um, let's go here. Knight g4. He's going to go like rookie one, like he did last time. I'm going to go queen a7 to go bishop b6. This is going to be my, my grand idea, maybe. Plays h3. I think I can go here because now I have bishop f2. So this is my idea, at least. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I also have knight h5 here, maybe. He's going to take, I'm going to take, he's going to take, I'm going to take. Or no, I'm going to take on... Oh, it goes there, wow. 
Oh, does he want to sack on... He might want to sack on F6 here. And go Queen H6 with the... Oh my gosh, really? Oh. You can play Bishop E3, I guess. Um, I guess. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I'm going to go here to hit the rook this way now. I'm trying to use these double ops as effectively as I humanly can. Minlay lost to Bordnik. Uh, happens. All right, take. I guess he takes, I take. Knight a5, but I have like e4. Or no, I don't have e4. What am I doing? Still very hard to play. Still extremely hard to play. I'm going to go here in queen d7. Very tricky position because he's also got two pass pawns. Oh, did I just blunder this too? Ugh. Take, let's go here, I guess. Oh, there's also rook a4. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. That, that was absurd. Absurd. Yeah. Absurd. That was absurd. Yeah, that's how you know. Like, that's when you really know it's not your day. When you're just missing these, like, ridiculously obvious tactics. Oh, uh, the correct one is d3 here. Yeah, that's like, yeah. Rook takes a4 and it's a draw, actually, I think. Go a3. Go here in h3. Yeah, minus 12 EI. I mean, I'm playing Blitz because there's no one else to play. It happens. Like, if you want to play Blitz, you, you don't really have that many options. Um, I mean, Nepo and Wesley don't really play. They're the only guys around 3,100 besides Danya. And if Dan is Dan is not on either, so like what 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 can I really do? I mean, you just try to play. Does H5 anyway? Interesting. I think. If trade and I go Bishop E3. And I know this is actually not very good for black. Go here. Did I just give him some G4 something? Maybe I did. Go here, target the pawn. Takes, I take. Okay, now it should just be much better here. I can play like B4, B5 maybe. I just don't want to mess this up this game. So let's go here. I think I'm not going to castle my king this game. I'm going to go B4 and Bishop G2 and try to kill him on the queen side maybe. Seems like the right idea at least. It was F6 anyway. I think B4, B5 is very strong. I can also just take and play knight e5, actually. I think, do I want to throw him b4 or not as a question? Or do I just trade and go knight e5? I can obviously sack there. Takes queen a5, knight d4, c d4, queen d4. He's going to sack, so I'm just going to go b4, b5 here. Plays a6. So again, I can obviously take. Also go, wait, no, bishop g2 is not the move. King d2 is a funny, funny move here, actually. Very funny move to play. I almost want to play it just because. Knight takes d4, c takes d4, queen takes d4. Rook to g2, queen e3, king, G, king d1, bishop uh, f4, rook c, rook c2. I mean, it's, it's, it's a winning position, but I, I don't really know how winning it is. Let's just take... Now yeah, let's go for it. Why not? I don't believe him. Let's just go for it. I don't believe him. He's, he has to trade. If he goes queen h7, I mean, I just take, and he's surely losing on the queen side. So he's going to have to take with a bishop and sack on d4. He takes with a knight. Wait, first I can... Wait, actually, I can just take the knight here. Yeah, I can just take the knight and take the rook. He played the wrong one. He had to take with the bishop. Now it's just over. He was Scotty XG for the nine. Onar for the nine. Thank you so much. 
Last three again. Place B3. Let's go E5. Let's go here. How long do I want to play against? I think I'll play A6 here. <laughs> last 30? No, not last 30. I'd have three here. I always play badly against my own opening for some reason. I just go here. Takes. How did Evich play this? I think Bishop B4 is supposed to be one of the moves you can play. Maybe I've got the... I think I've got the order wrong again, though. This is not the right order of moves. Yeah, this is not the right order of moves. I've misplayed this. I'm just slightly worse here. I've done what I always do in this opening. I did this against um, someone in the Pro Chess League, no less, which was fairly embarrassing, too. I did this against... Um, Matt Lakov, I think it was in the Pro Chess League, where I just blundered a pawn in the opening. Like, I'm going to take and go here. And take with the knight, maybe go c5. How do I not know how to play? Well, there are many ways to play against it, and I usually choose the wrong one. Uh, castles is interesting. Okay, I guess I'll go knight g6 and just queen e7, probably. Once that, I'm going to play h5, which is probably a bad move, but I want to do it. Let's go here. Probably bishop d7 and castles long is my idea. Seems okay now. I think he missed he missed a chance maybe for one or two moves to take advantage. I think with the knight. I have c5. I don't really like it. I think I'll just go like not f6. I think I'll just go. You know, let's just go back. And I'm just gonna castle my king out here. With f3. I guess I go back to f6. Uh, d6 was better. Go. Here, hit the bishop. D6 was better specifically to stop this knight f5, but it's still probably relatively okay. It does go to f5. I can play c I can play g6, f4. I guess I just castle maybe. Yeah, let's just castle here. Keep it simple. I have f4, I guess I go knight g6. If takes, I just take with the queen. Relatively okay. If you're Brazilian, you say hooks and rooks, okay. Yeah. But um, but um, but um, but um, let's see. You think in his case, NM is better than GM? Yeah, I mean, this guy's not an NM. This guy is, uh, he's just not an NM player. It's really just that simple. Um, I mean, it's just absurd that he doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have a title. I thought I had knight h5 here. Knight h5 takes. Uh, knight h5 is bishop d7. I can still go g6 maybe. Now let's go g6 and take with this knight. Should be okay here. He's an NM, but 2560 or some some weird FIDE rating that is unbefitting of, of his stature. It takes. So I take back. Guard the knight of knight h5 here. I mean, knight h5 is obviously logical. Doesn't mean it's the best move, but I think I like it, so I'm going to play it. This will go f5, stop e4 here. Knight g3 is also, I guess, a move, but he had knight e2. Oh, he sacks. Very interesting. So he sacks. I don't think this is good, though, because I think I have this. My knight... My knight, this bastion is really knight. This bastion hook or whatever you want to call it is really good. And his queen is dominated by the pony. He goes e4. This actually looks very wrong. I mean, he has... Qu okay, this this has to be wrong. Let's go here to hit the rook. This is just a nice hook here. It's just a nice fish hook. Uh, I assume I can actually take. But do I want to take? I mean, I kind of don't want to, but I kind of do want to. No, let's just take it let's let's believe that i'm not insane play okay now though he's got tricks i have to be very careful here let's go let's go here i guess and rook, rook e8 rook e8 and i should be fine again i don't feel like i've played this very well though but I am going to get a check on the diagonal at least. Is this the last game? No, it's not. I still need to win two more. A check. I can't go knight c3 just yet. Let's go here. Definitely want knight c3 next move. Um, 
can also go C4, I guess. Well, let's just go C4 and Rook C6. Should be good enough to win the game. No tactics, just take. Queen C6, guard everything. Knight C5, free pawn. Knight D2, should be winning, I just take. I can come up and I have Queen B6 with just a check, and that's game over. There we go. Two more to go. Need a poker dude for the tier one. Thank you so much. Um, let's change it up here. I'm tired of playing the same opening. Even though I think his opening is more dubious than this than anything else. Nice tactics to save the rook. Yeah, it worked out. I mean, go here. I'm gonna go d4, I guess, and bishop d3. His bishop's on c8, my knight's on h4, so we'll see what he does. Let's play bishop g4, I'll go here. Probably going to play h3, knight f3 at some point. This feels much more like the kind of game that I want here against this guy. Um, I guess a3, why not? Don't know if it's really necessary. I can always play h3. I always have knight c3. Chess burnout is a thing? Yes, it definitely is. Um, Queen C8 is a very strange one. I'm just going to go Knight D2. I mean, is he really intending to sack a bishop here? Seems kind of bizarre. Isn't your play with somewhat off today? Yeah, I mean, my, my play has not been great. Okay, so he does this. So I'll go H3, kick the bishop back. I have F4, F5 maybe. Interesting. Actually, he's very cramped. I think F4 is the right move here. I mean, I haven't played well throughout today, but I also am playing this guy who is very underrated. Relatively. I don't know why his rating is so low. It should be a lot higher. It was A4. I can play F5, but I think just B4 is good. He'll probably take. I'll take with the knight. Get a big center here, so how, how bad can it really be? Go E4 here and take. Bishop A2. You can play F5 here or E5. Let's just go F5, just attack here. Yeah, at first, at first I thought there might be like an earthquake or something. There's some really loud noise. Yeah, at, at first I had that feeling that maybe something was going on. It's like, no, you're just insane. Play Apex, bro. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll get to other games down the road. I don't know how much, but I will. I will at some point. First thought is earthquake. Yeah, it's always the first thought when you're in when you're in LA. Easily the first thought. And he goes king h8. E5 is obviously. I mean, e5 looks winning, but I don't see a win. I can take. And this feels like there should be some way that I'm winning, but I, I, I'm just gonna keep building pressure with e5. Thank you to Sputnik for the seven. Now he goes knight. G I mean, again, this looks. How is there no win here? Oh, man. I really want to sack, but I don't see a force win, so I'm just going to stay stable here. Go here and rook. Oh, did I just hang my knight? Almost. Go here. I guess I'll go here, trade off some bishops. I mean, there's so much pressure here on the king side. There's so much pressure here. I mean, this is just immense pressure that he can't really deal with. I mean, he goes rook g8. Queen h6 is probably winning for starters. No, but then he has queen f8. So wait, so if I take, take. I'll just go bishop f1. Or bishop b1, I should say. Yeah, I'm going to do this instead. Trying to build even more pressure. So on g5, I go f6 and I have queen h6. My whole idea. I also have queen c2 to battery him on the diagonal. I mean, queen c2 is definitely winning also. Takes is also winning. Let's, let's play the most consistent one though which is queen c2 this is the most consistent one i think i think or not no it's not okay it goes there it's still winning but now i've now i've let him off the hook a little bit so um so here in rookie five maybe okay now he lets me sack though now i just win queen g6 fortunate that he let me off the hook so easily okay let's go um what do i want to play i'll go back to sicilians 
No, zero draws, you guys. We have zero draws in our games. I think zero draws. I'm pretty sure it's zero. So. Guess I'm going to play a different order this time. Maybe I'm going to castle and play knight a6. This is also another idea that... Eh, no. Let's just go back to the both same line. Okay, let's go here. Let's just castle. Here. Let's find something. I have knight c5. I don't like it. I have queen a7. Knight f6 I thought was the right move, but I actually think now the more I look at it, the more I don't believe in it. I'm gonna do something completely different. Let's go rookie eight. Let's change it up completely here. Takes, I'll take. I have knight f6, maybe bishop b6. Rookie one, logical. Let's go here, put the bishop on a better diagonal. I'm lining them up towards his king. Okay, rookie one. I have knight c5. Huh. I'm gonna go f6, which probably is a bad move, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Maybe F, I should have just gone F5, Knight of 6. I don't know why I'm so afraid of just doing that. Complicated position, though. Where are the consequences of losing rating points? It's the end of the world, you guys. If you lose rating points, you can't keep living. If you lose rating points, there's nothing more important. Like, you, you just, you won't eat dinner, you won't eat breakfast. It's the end of the world. There's not, there's, there's nothing worse than losing rating points. Um, nothing worse in the entire world than losing rating points. Uh, you'll become homeless, yeah. Yeah, nothing worse. No, the, the reason is that, like, is that, like, it's just when you play Blitz, like, the only thing on the line, since it's not, like, counts for an actual rating, is rating points. Because, like, I mean, if I, w even here, I beat this guy 13-6. Yeah, I've won the match, and that's nice and fine, but there's no, like, nothing that I can quantify it with. I think Rook F1 is not the best move. Uh, I can go Knight F6 here. I'm going to do it. I mean, he's going to sack. I'm quite confident he's going to sack here. But I just don't believe that it's enough. Yeah, I think I go just, just here, and then I have Bishop C8. I just don't believe that this is enough for white somehow. Really doesn't feel like it should be. I also have bishop e3, I just realized. Yeah, bishop e3 could be an, an important move. And I I mean, but then I give up a pawn. So not so easy to play somehow. This is what I wanted, so why am I complaining? I have bishop e3, queen h5, bishop h bishop a6. Okay, let's start harassing the queen. Wait, he goes there. Wait, I think that was wrong. Because now I have bishop c8. That was definitely not the right square to go to. Because now I'm going to be able to harass the uh, the rook too, I think. Yeah, let's harass the rook. I mean, I still have to be careful of h4 here. But now let's harass... Or wait, that's not harassing the rook. The rook's safe. But so what? I have bishop e3 here. But that's a pawn. Okay, that doesn't look like big danger. Let's go here. Yep, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is this is it. I'm feeling it. We're finally gonna get this big big dub here. Uh, queen d1. He's okay, trying to keep the game alive. I don't actually know what the best way to win is, so I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be very methodical and principled. Let's go here in rook b2. Since I don't see a forced win on the spot, it makes much more sense to play like this than anything else. Go here. Go here. Let's go for the kill with Bishop F3. He's gonna have to go Queen E1. But I think after I, tra I mean, this this has to be just cleanly winning for me. Trade. Let's see, I think F5 looks fine. Probably go A5. Okay, goes for K1. Let's go here. Go here. I think I just go here. This gave him a6, which was unnecessary to put it mildly. I'm finding a way to mess this up again. I don't believe this. I'm finding a way to mess this up again. Oh, this is disgusting. Okay, this is absolutely disgusting. Just when I thought I had it, I just relaxed. Okay, let's go here and here. I also had rook b5. Why didn't I play rook b5 there? I'm going to be able to flag him, but uh, I mean, this is disgusting. Have to win like this is just gross. I'm 
I'm going to flag him this game. I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to flag him. Um... No, I actually I just win. There we go. Absolutely dis no, no, no. That that's that that's 15, right? Let, let me not accidentally yeah, let me not accidentally start a new game. Maybe shrink theorists for three months. Yeah, let me not accidentally start a new game. Um yeah, okay, you guys. I've I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted with my chest. I'm disgusted with everything from the stream today, you guys. Uh I'm just disgusted. Enough said. All right, I'm going to be calling it a day, you guys. So I'm just, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had enough of this. Um, <laughs> Just enough. Uh, Well, it's not really that. It's just the bad play throughout. I mean, Minlay played well in the first game, but like I, I definitely had chances. And I didn't convert. I played badly in this match too. Just not meant to be. So it's what it is. All right, let me figure out who I'm going to raid. Um, ugh. 